Hi, it's Tony Hoffer from Hoffer Photography and I just wanted to do a quick review on a new lighting system that we tried out and really liked so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, if you're anything like me and a little bit of a lighting nerd, uh, then you have experience with lots of different things that look like this. Um, gels that are all taped up or like this, velcro that goes around speed lights or things like this which are grids that can get beat up. Over the years, I've sort of become a little bit of an aficionado of these things. You know, it always seems to be a series of compromises, as you probably know if you're watching this video. It doesn't quite look right, it's not light enough, it's too hard to set up, it takes too long. We've always sort of had these problems, and a buddy of mine recently uh, decided that he was going to invent something to solve some of these problems. So. Uh, I'm excited. I think I'm probably the first person in the world to uh, review these and uh, probably one of only a few people to have them, so that's pretty cool for me. Uh, but my buddy Spencer decided to create this system and he called it MagMod. And uh, right now it's available to be supported on Kickstarter. So I wanted to do a little review to kind of show you guys some of these things, share with you what I think. I'm sure some of you are asking, well, aren't you totally biased about this because it's your friend? Uh, yes, I probably am. So, you know get over it. Basically what Spencer created is a series of uh, flash modifiers that can be attached via magnets. So whether that's grids, gels, or I guess in the future some other things, uh, they can all be magnetized. It makes it much easier, much more lightweight, and much simpler. Um, so you take a standard flash like this. Usually we used to have a Velcro strap around all of our flashes and then we would Velcro everything to them. What MagMod is, is a silicone grip that goes around the flash and it just kind of protrudes around the edges a little bit like this um, and it stays on really well if I push it doesn't really go anywhere um, you have to kind of like peel it to get it off um, but it's really tight on there a really good grip and it's silicone with magnets like I mentioned these grids um, are also magnetized as you can see there's magnets here um, and also silicone so you can push them and pull them and twist them and for anyone that's super hard on their equipment, like me, this is like a godsend because I could basically not break this or damage it, which is, which is awesome. When you compare that to the old grids I used, not only did I have to rip off the Velcro because I hated Velcro, um, I put these hair ties on it. So I could only use a grid when my flash was in 90 degrees because I would attach it like this, which I thought was kind of ingenious. But um, as you can see, it wasn't always the easiest thing to do. It never quite fit right or it would get knocked off easily. It would get kind of jarred off. And the inside of this was made out of sort of like a cheap plastic, so it got all dented. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but um, a lot of the honeycombs don't even exist anymore. So this is pretty awesome because it is pretty much indestructible, like I said. And also it's about half the width um, and a little smaller in terms of you know, the straight on kind of profile of it. The honeycomb shape is a little different. The magmon's a little bigger, but I found that the, uh, the Hano grid, which is what this is, is actually a little longer. Um, so the beam shape is about the same, but the cool part comes in in a second. So I'll, I'll show you that. There's also the gel system. Like I said, this was, you know, how we always used to attach gels either with Velcro or tape. Um, and these gels, as you can see, mine are really beat up uh, and ugly. A lot of them tear and I'm always having to replace them or reattach them or things like that. So there's this cool gel system which is also uh, magnetized in silicone um, and on top of that the gels are like a firm uh, you know kind of unbreakable gel which is really cool. Um, Spencer tells me that this is just a prototype that he's actually reworking the gel system. Right now it actually protrudes off the edge which isn't my favorite thing. It's kind of like the one negative thing I have to say about the system but um, Spencer says it's in process of being changed and fixed, um, which is one cool thing about seeing a product before it's actually launched. In the past, I wouldn't always use speed lights right away because I knew if I wanted to shape the light and all that kind of stuff, it'd be kind of annoying to set it up and it would take longer than I wanted to spend on it. Um, but this has been pretty awesome, just you know, shooting weddings um, over the last couple of days and shooting sessions over the last couple of days. It's great to just pull out a flash and be like, you know, good to go. Between those three things, the grip, the grid, and the gel, uh, you have a pretty cool system. And basically how it works is this. You have your flash, um, and let's just say I want to change the shape of this light and put a grid on it. I just go like that. Um, and then my grid's on it. It's pretty awesome. I can just pull it off like that. If I want a light that has a gel and a grid, just put the gel on, put the grid on, 
and I'm good to go. You just kind of stack things. If you have more than one grid, you can stack those. Uh, I used a setup like that for a ring shot the other day. It worked out really well. Basically, like any good product, it's kind of solving all the problems I had with other methods. And, you know, it might seem like a simple little thing, but like having something that's really durable for the way we treat our gear, that's really small and that's easy to use, just really makes a big difference for us. So I'm really excited about this. I'm excited to see the new gel prototype um, once that's when that's, once that's kind of done and ready to go. Also, um, just to show you sort of the strength of these in case you're curious, um, you know, you can see, like I said, it just attaches like this, but the magnets, they actually kind of pull, like I can leave go like that, and they're kind of like pulling themselves on, not really even having to set it on. And then once it's on there, um, you know, you can actually like hold a flash by this silicone, which is pretty impressive, I think. Um, so it's pretty strong, you know, as we're like, shooting like shots on the dance floor or something and we're moving all around it's not really going anywhere you have to like shake it really hard you can't even get it to fall off um, but at the same time it just pulls right off um, with your with your hands so I found it to be like a really good uh, really good amount of tension for us I can fit a couple of these in my bag in the same amount of space that I used to fit um, one of the Hanels which is awesome um, not only that, but they can just kind of bend or fit around wherever, which is great. The biggest downside for me right now is just the gels, but um, apparently that's getting fixed as we speak. Um, so soon the gels will wrap completely inside the silicone. Um, the shape of this is going to be the exact same size as the shape of this. So it's going to be really clean and just work together really well. So that's Magmon in a nutshell. Um, I would strongly support or strongly urge you to go to Kickstarter and support them. The link is in this review. Um, I really love this product so far, um, but it's never going to be a product unless it gets supported. Um, so I'm really hoping that you guys are excited, as excited about this as I am, that you'll hop on the Kickstarter and buy yourself a few. Hopefully within the next couple weeks or months, you will uh, all be using some sweet magmods. Thanks a lot.